hey guys welcome to my channel so in today's video we're going to discuss about angular 14 new features and angular 15 new updates which is coming in new release so yes angular has released uh, angular 14th version a uh, few months ago which is standards in uh, angular's ecosystem since it launches a uh, new versions every six months with some new enhancements upgrades and new capabilities to develop more powerful application so this should not affect other angular projects so remember angular it does not matter what version you are using the main thing is that you are using angular so these are five latest angular features that will change the way you code so the first thing is uh, we're going to discuss about typed angular forms then we'll discuss about new primitives in angular cdk and third one is streamlined page title accessibility the fourth one is standalone components and the last but not the least extended developer diagnostics and after that we are going to discuss about yeah what is new is coming in angular 15th release right so in angular 15th release we have so many great features and uh, we will we are going to discuss about all these six uh, things once we are done with angular new features uh, in 14th version so let's go back to this particular uh, ppt and i'm going to show you some of the examples okay how these things are working and how this uh, five features can be a great help into uh, your new project on angular 14 so let's continue with that so the first thing is uh, typed angular forms so this feature is my personal favorite uh, for me one of the best thing about angular uh, is the forms since it is the daily use for me so what is the most common way to capture data from the user is like forms forms are a little bit of complex and it can be simple as well so what is this uh, new feature in angular so we all know that uh, the forms will have support of typing now so let's remember that the fact of handling typing in our case with typescript has already reduced around 15 percent of appearance in the bugs in our system and we we didn't have really typed forms in angular until now but now angular has came up with this great feature and here on your screen you can uh, view this thing like uh, that's how you're going to basically now uh, make your form typed so so now in this version uh, the angular form api can infer the type you set and alert you that for example that field you defined as a number you cannot modify it to a string or a boolean or change it to any array because that would have inappropriate behavior in your code that can produce bugs right so that's really cool now we can capture it so the next feature is new primitive in angular cdk angular has its own ui package uh, if you want to use it in your application and these packages are the angular material well if you want to make a modal or dialogue sure you can create it from the scratch by yourself but in angular already gives you this in a package where with the best practices including uh, accessibility gives you the tools to create such components and it helps you to build those type of components very quickly uh, with the great controls so at the same time this new version includes improvements in the angular cdk with the new components that are agnostic to the visual styles you want to implement for example you can see that we now have a, a control on the uh, animation speed on a particular model that you wanted to open so similarly we have got a bunch of new features so this is on your screen so that's how it opened uh, i mean you can control it you can completely remove the animation so at the same time you can control it with the speed as well all right so let's move to the next one the next one is streamlined page title accessibility so when creating an application with a framework and bringing it to millions of users one of the most important thing is to think about all types of users that implies a new challenge right so which is to make our solution accessible to anyone angular is constantly releasing new features so that by default when developing in angular we already have those best practices and this version includes a way to work the titles of the pages from the definition of the routes so as you know previously i mean when you build any application in angular application so when you create any routing you define multiple bunch of routes over there uh, but when you reach out to this particular screen you will notice that on the top of uh, this section over here this title still belongs to the index.html we do not have any other option to put it there we cannot make any change whether the route is different but the title is still showing uh, the title from the index.html that is pretty bad right earlier we do not had any way but now angular has given us the option so this is how you can basically uh, give uh, titles your particular route that's pretty cool right 
okay let's move to the next one next one is the standalone components this is one of the most important and the one that the community has been talking about the most it is about developing application without the need for the modules so if you know the react is basically uh, without modules right and it is pretty much uh, flexible you can create a component and you can use that component across the application anywhere without modules right so one of the goals of angular is to minimize the learning curve of new people learning this framework and module is one of the those thing that is hard to understand at the beginning so now angular releases a way to which we can develop without modules imagine that you have a component and normally every angular artifact like services pipe directives and components must belong to a module well not anymore each component can be independent import the context it needs and that's it so here is the example something like this on your screen so now you can see that every component can have these two extra properties one is the standalone if you wanted to make it standalone you don't want it to be part of any module you can just make it standalone as true and of course i mean if, if you are not going to have many modules we need a way to import something in the components right so they can use the other components or directive as well so here is the import directly again so now you can imports add all your imports within this imports uh, array so that's all instead of ng modules you can add everything within this uh, imports of the components however angular clarifies that it releases this first version of the standalone components if this feature is going to maintain the that architecture from the start but reduce the learning curve it seems like a good vision of the team going forward in addition angular is backward compatible if you want to continue working with modules it will continue to be done or even have hybrids of modules and standalone components all right so let's move to the next one extended developer diagnostics so this is not much basically it's one of the feature that you only have to enjoy when upgrading and nothing else angular by working heavily with typing can use advantage of the id that others can't and have a great experience when developing so part of that is the plugin for vs code called angular language service that when you installed uh, is like having a pair programming that is constantly checking and telling you where you might be making mistakes so here is the example on your screen you can check it out that's how it is going to work so now you pretty much have a good idea like how these five but features of angular 14 can help you out in writing a way better code now let's discuss about the upcoming new angular 15 feature so this is what we know so far the first one is iv landmark so basically it is going to make angular ultra fast and we already know that angular 14 is having iv and it is pretty fast right the second one is additional performance improvements third is mistyped banana in the box fix I'll tell you what it is. It looks funny, but it is really awesome. Easier lazy loading. Uh, I think you, you got it already because Angular's lazy loading syntax is very hard to remember and they are going to make the change for the third time, I guess. Dynamic route uh, router outlet names. Component scoped keyframes. Wow, this one is really awesome. I really wanted to dig deeper into, into this one. So let's discuss about these things. So what is new in the Angular 15 so far? So Angular had some uh, rough path lately with the news that AngularJS is deprecated and dead. People understandably believed it, but Angular is actually far from being dead. The 14th version of the most popular framework scores some major improvements actually. But today we will focus on the version 15th and that's the around the corner. It is planned to be released just in a month on 18th of November of 2022. So the first feature that is coming in this release is IV Landmark. So, which is going to make Angular ultra fast. So, if you are not familiar with the Angular Saga, so while it is the best framework to focus on uh, user experience, for years it has suffered from bad build performance compared to the lightweight libraries like React. An astonishing effort to get back on track revolved around almost completely rebuilding the re rendering engine. The new one called IV was a project for years. Along the way, Angular had to had been striped from hot module reload. So fortunately, IV made it through and latest version of Angular offers comfortable build and rebuilds. Hot modules reload is also easier to enable since that said, uh, Angular 15 mark a point of no return. 
So if you're, I will become one and only rendering engine, giving exceptional experience to the developers. So we, <coughs> so this is going to be really awesome, right? So second thing is additional performance improvements. Aside of IV and HMR, we already know and love in the process of creating more than 15 developers introduced additional performance improvements. So far, each external template was passed uh, multiple times for each reported type checking, diagnostic, uh, accounting to memory usage. Uh, so they basically fixed uh, this defect where you can see that. So cache source file for reporting type checking diagnostic. So this fix which is introduced uh, as a cache for template that improved the speed of the memory usage of type checking. It was also backdropped in the version 14.2 but it is going to fix in the 15th version. So mistyped banana in the box third one another feature that caught my attention is about the banana in a box banana in a box is a term described the syntax of two-way binding in angular template you have surely seen it multiple times but didn't know the name it looks like this yeah ng model you might have used many times so parentheses with the ng model from a banana and square brackets symbolize a box where the banana is stored Unfortunately, sometimes people write the same code in the different order. They put parentheses outside and the box inside like this. So it gives a lot of errors. The fix will report such issues and offer a fix through language services. That is by adding the IDE example Visual Studio code. So if you're interested in writing similar dev friendly features, check out this commit. It is quite interesting to read among the fact that the banana in the box now become an official term used in the angular source code. The fourth one is easy lazy loading. We already know the lazy loading syntax is really bad. Not bad, I mean it is a little complex uh, and they have changed it twice actually. But now it is going to change for the third time I believe and it is going to be very easy now. So here you can see in this example auto unwrap. A default export when lazy loading so this defect basically fix this issue so after this fix it should satisfy people who like ongoing effort of angular to write less boilerplate usually when you load components or children in a route you have to select what to load fortunately with earlier introduction of default export it is clear what component should be loaded the change takes default exports into account and just loads what is necessary so here is the example you can see this is how it's going to look like the next one is dynamic router outlet names so if you look into this particular uh, defect which is being closed make router outlet name and input so it can be set dynamically so with this fix they have fixed this issue so basically this commit uh, is going to uh, be the part of angular 15th branch so the practical result is that now you can bind it to a variable for example from a for loop before it was not possible making it difficult to write robust elastic components this example from the uh, test case shows the game changer here so this is how you're going to write it within the for loop now the router outlets we are going to pass the outlet as a input parameter so the next thing is component scoped keyframes this one is really important so for a long time there was a problem with the css frameworks like they didn't seem to be component scoped it made feel really bad multiple times in my life when they leaked or were overlapped by others keyframes with the same name so basically if you're going to have the keyframes in with the same name in multiple components even they are two different components if the, the keyframe name is same they still overwrite so it was an, a not unknown un, uh, to the angular team so the debate was uh, how to tackle these issues it is running since 2019 so with this version 15th of angular a definitive solution was made i believe the decision is good uh, the keyframe name will be prepended with the host component selector now keyframes will follow component scoping we love in angular so here you can see that the defect has been closed now so now basically keyframe will follow component scoping we love in angular word of notice has to be made here the change can break your code when you rely on a global aspect of keyframes defined in a component if you do you have to move them into global style sheet because this is going to be breaking change that's it 
if it comes to the most important changes so far in angular 15 line other changes may include are like can frisk replaced by analyzer a mandatory hint parameters in parse improved image warnings using document token to query pre-connect links renamed raw source ng source in ng optimization image directive making sure that the use animation functions delay is applied support of has invalidated resolutions and much more. as you can see that uh, there is lot of changes in angular 15 and uh, we are far from seeing all of them since it is only the next 0.5 version that was released in uh, <coughs> 510 2022